Hi everyone, this is Hebba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. I'm going to use Studio Calico's September traveler's notebook. This is the new release, and I'm going to stick to my kit only. I will be documenting my daughter starting school again, and she's a sophomore in high school, which is crazy. But I wanted to first start by creating like a background for my photos and my layering. So I used the washi tape from that kit. It is so adorable. I love it. And I love that it's in black and white. So I'm just going to end up adding like two strips of washi tape. And then I will start layering my photos. I end up using some of the packaging from my kit. Just a glassine bag. I'm going to trim it down to back up my photos. I love using glassine bags to back up my photos and add layers. It doesn't have a color, obviously, but it's like this beautiful, milky uh, paper that just is smooth and you can crinkle it up and it adds a lot of texture. So I really, really like that. So I'm gonna end up just sticking down my photos directly on my glassine bags. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick them down. I end up sticking each photo on the, like on a separate page just because I really want this to kind of, I don't know, I wanted like a strip of layering going through my spread. So that's why I decided to add them on opposite sides of my spread. Before I start layering, I decide I want to like trim down my glassine bags a little bit. I really want the washi tape to pop. And the blackness of the washi tape will help, like kind of help my embellishing pop. So I end up just trimming it down, adding my photos to my washi tape. And now the fun part begins. I'm going to grab that stamp set that came with my kit. It's all about going back to school. And I'm going to stamp a few stamps kind of around my photos just to add some depth when I end up adding my embellishments. I love doing this. This is a great way to add layers without really adding a lot of bulkiness, if that makes sense. So I'm going to end up stamping on the photo or on my project directly on my project. And I'll also grab some white paper and stamp on that as well. As you guys know, I love using my stamps to create my own embellishments. I will trim them out and add them around my photos. Now I end up stamping again directly on my spread and you can see it didn't stamp well. I grabbed my stamp pad and stamped it again, but it even looked worse. So I'm going to end up covering that up with a puffy sticker. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and trim out what I stamped on my white paper and use those as embellishments and to add some layering to my photos. Studio Calico's Traveler's Notebook kits usually don't come with paper, so it's really hard to create layering without paper. But I was hoping that, you know, using your embellishments or me using my embellishments and stamping on paper helps you kind of think outside the box and not just have to use paper to create layers. Use what's in your kit think outside the box and create those layers without paper. Now I'm done adding my stamped images. I'm going to cover up my boo-boo with this lunchbox puffy sticker, which is so adorable. I'll also add uh, that red apple to the top of my photo to bring in some of the apples from the opposite side. Now this kit came with some craft stickers, so I'm going to use those as well to add some layering. And again, because I don't have paper, that craft sticker sheet is perfect for this because I can kind of tuck it behind my photo and it's going to kind of look like paper. I will grab the little tickets that came in the kit and use those as well to add some layering. Again, you can use those tickets as paper layering. So I end up adding that behind or I tuck it behind my photo. I add that black puffy sticker with the arrow and I don't know, it ends up moving a few times because I just, I didn't like it that much sitting up top. So I don't think I, I don't think it stays there. That's what I want to say. I also stamped today is a new day because I did want to add some journaling. So I wanted a little title for my journaling. 
And now I'm just stamping on my ticket. I'll also stamp on the craft sticker that I tucked behind my photo. So I kind of move that arrow and I stick it back where it was, but then you're gonna see me kind of change my mind and decide to move it to the opposite page. Now I decide moving it to the opposite page because the opposite page is really, really busy with that pattern and black embellishments really help mute down busy patterns. So that's why I decided to do that. I want to add 10 for, you know, my daughter being a sophomore, but this alpha sticker does not have numbers. So I started with an L and an O, but that L was way too big. So I go back and grab the I and that worked out much better. So I end up using that to just uh, add number 10 to kind of represent what grade she's in. I went ahead and added my journaling, cut it down into strips, and I will add those right underneath my photo. And then I call my layout done. Don't forget, I will be adding all the links for everything I used in my video down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.